Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful exponential math problem without any using calculator and with the help of different exponential identities. So the problem is 32 raised to power 5 minus 32 raised to power 4. Now how can we solve this math problem? First of all here we can write this base 32 as we can write this as 32 is the same as 2 times 2 which is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So here 2 is 5 times, therefore we can write this in exponential form as 2 raised to power 5 or 2 raised to power 5. So here we will replace this number 32 with 2 raised to power 5. So this number will become, this will become 32 is 2 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 5 minus 32 is 2 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 4. Here in both the terms we will use an exponential identity to multiply the powers with each other. So here in this step in both the terms we will use this an exponential identity. A raised to power m whole raised to power n. This can also be written as a raised to power m times n. So using this exponential identity here both the numbers will become this will become 2 raised to power, we multiply the power, so 4 times 5 is 25. So this will become 2 raised to power 25 minus 2 raised to power, 4 times 4 is 20. So this will become 2 raised to power 20. Now here we can solve this number further using two different methods. The first one is to find out the value of 2 raised to power 25 and 2 raised to power 20 and then subtract the numbers. This is the first method. And the second method is to take out the factor 2 raised to power 20 common from both the numbers and then simplify the numbers. So here we will use our second method, second approach and we will take out the factor 2 raised to power 20 common from both the terms. So therefore, first we will simplify this first term. So therefore, next we can write this as 2 raised to power 25 can be written as the sum of 20 plus 5 minus 2 raised to power 20. Here the first term we will use another exponential identity a raised to power m plus n identity. So here in the first term we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a raised to power m plus n as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here we can write this first number as this will become 2 raised to power 20 times 2 raised to power 5 minus 2 raised to power 20. We have this factor, this number 2 raised to power 20 is common in both the terms. So we will take out common. So this will become taking 2 raised to power 20 common. So this will become 2 raised to power 5 minus 1. Then we will replace 2 raised to power 5 with its value. That is 2 raised to power 5 is equal to 32. So this will become 32. So this whole number will become 2 raised to power 20 times. No, this is. 32. 32 minus 1 is simply 31. So this will become 31. And we will try to multiply both the numbers without using any calculator. So how can we multiply these two numbers? First of all, we will try to find out the value of this number 2 raised to power 20. So here we can find out this value by multiplying 2 20 times. But we can also find out this value using an algebraic identity. A plus B whole square identity. So first we will make this number as an algebraic identity. So for that, Next, we can write this number as 2 raised to power 20, but 20 can be written as 10 times 2 times 31. Here in this one number, we will use this one exponential identity. A raised to power m times n, this can also be written as a raised to power m whole raised to power n. So using this identity here, we can write this number as this will become 2 raised to power 10 whole raised to power 2 times 31 and we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 10 and then we will use an algebraic identity here so we will find out this value here 2 raised to power 10 what does mean by this number this number means we have to multiply this base 10 times so multiplying 2 10 times it is a very famous number that is equal to 1024 so this is 1024 now we'll take square over this number as there is square over 2 raised to power 10. So taking square over this number, we can write this number as 1024 can be written as 
the sum of 1000 plus 24 whole square. Here we will use an algebraic identity a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. So using that identity this will become a square so a is 1000 square plus b square b, b is 24 square plus 2 times ab you know a is 1000 times b is 24. So here what is the value of 1000 square? Since one square is simply one and there are three zeros, so this will become double. So there will be six zeros. So the value of one thousand square is one million. Plus, now we have to find out the value of twenty-four square. It means we have to multiply twenty-four two times. So we multiply this number two times here. So twenty-four times twenty-four. But we can write the second twenty-four as the sum of twenty plus four. Now here we can easily multiply this twenty-four with twenty and four. So this is very simple. 24 times 0 is 0, 24 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 480. We multiply this number with 4, so 4 times 4 is 16, 6 one is carry, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, so this is 96. Here we will add these two numbers, so 0 plus 6 is 6, 9 plus 8 is 70, 7 will be carried to this number, 4 plus 1 is 5, so this is 576. So the value of 24 square is 576. So we will replace this with this one number plus no. 2 times 24 is 48 and 48 times 1000 is 48,000. So this will become 48,000. Here we will sum up these three numbers. So this is very simple. 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. Next is 7. Next is 5. You come to the 1000 players digits. So 8 plus 0 is 8. Next is 4, 4 plus 0 is 4, 0, 1. So here the sum of these three numbers gives him this one number. So finally the value of 2 raised to power 10 or the square of 1024 is 1,048,576. Here we will replace this number with this one value. So this will become the value of this number is 1,048,576. Times 31. Now here we will try to multiply these two numbers without any rough work and without any calculator. So how can we multiply these two numbers? So this there is a very easy method. First we will write this number as the same: one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six times. And here we can write this 31 as the sum of 30 plus 1. Here we can very easily multiply this number with 30 and 1. So let's multiply these two numbers. First, we multiply this number with 30. So this number times 0 is 0, and this number times 3 is we have to multiply this number with 3. So we multiply 3 with this number. 3 times 6 is 18. So 8, 1 will be carried. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus 1 is 22. So 2, 2 is carried. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. So 7, 1 will be carried. 3 times 8 is 24, 24 plus 1 is 25, so 25, 5 and 2 will be carried, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, so this is 4, 1 will be carried, 3 times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 1 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, so here the product of these two numbers gives him 31,457,280 plus, now this number times 1 is simply this one number, so this will become 1,048,000. 8,576. Now finally we will add up these two numbers so that will be our final answer. Now to add up these two numbers we will start from the ones position. So here 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 8 is 15 so this is 5, we will be carried to the next digit. Next is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 so this is 8. Come to the next digit, 8 plus 7 is 15, so 5 will be carried to this one. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, so 0 will be carried to this one. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 5, so this is 5. This is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and this is 3. So here the sum of these two numbers gives him 32,505,856. So finally, 32,505,856. Is our answer and value of this beautiful simplification math problem.